So this is my the medication that I'm on um, at the moment. A huge uh, amount. I mean, roughly how many drugs a day? So I'd be taking about 40 to 60 a day, depending on um, what I'm prescribed at any moment. And these are keeping you alive? Yeah, essentially that's, that, that's what they're doing. Sam Smith was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis when he was just two years old. It's one of the UK's most common life-threatening inherited diseases. The lungs and digestive system become clogged with thick, sticky mucus, resulting in chronic infections and inflammation. Sam had to have a lung transplant in 2011, but now he's been diagnosed with chronic rejection of the donor lungs, and once again, his health is declining. Oh, I had 100% lung function uh, after my transplant, and now it's sort of about 25 to 30%. Walking around the house, going up the stairs makes me breathless. Um, walking us under school, I have to do more slowly now. Just anything physical, I have to just do it much, much slower. There's no cure for cystic fibrosis. That means one in every two and a half thousand babies born in the UK face years of declining health and may not live to their 50s. Lung transplants do offer a hope, but all too often people die waiting for transplants or the body in time rejects the donor organ. It's that stark outcome and the effect on Sam that prompted Dave to act to try and find a new solution. Human organs grown from new. It's here in the lab at the University of York that Dave Smith and his team are working on so-called smart materials combined with stem cells that could create from new human organs. And perhaps, just perhaps, one day, they could help save the lives of thousands of desperately ill people on the transplant waiting list. I had all this fundamental chemistry knowledge and then I met Sam in about 2005 and, you know, it was love at first sight and he told me about his health problems and I. I kind of felt inadequate. I had all this fundamental chemistry knowledge, but I wasn't applying it to try and solve these really important problems. And so about that time, we turned 80% of the research over in my group over time to try and address specific problems that might be relevant for patients with cystic fibrosis and later on patients that went through transplantation. What we'd like to do is to grow organs from a patient's own stem cells that we can then implant into the patient so that they wouldn't suffer from rejection problems. You'd avoid all the medication post-transplant and even more importantly, you'd avoid adverse effects, you know, life-limiting effects because of rejection. How far away from that are we? It's a big, big dream, that one. So uh, it's about 20 years into the future, I think. It's a big 20-year project that we have in mind pushing towards that goal. The couple know that dream would come too late for Sam, but a radical way to treat cystic fibrosis could be Sam's legacy. I certainly know that the research won't help me because these things take an extremely long time, but it will go on and help others in the future.